If you want to see the scars on the car, no problem. He can point them out. <laughs> He's been banging into everything. Yeah. Yeah. It was an uh, exhaust pipe. Somebody dropped an exhaust. <laughs> it's like uh, even even uh, ICE vehicles uh, seem to seem to have a problem with with Tesla. Well, how's the Trek so far? The Trek so far has been brilliant. Uh, the car handles like a dream. I've um, Corey, uh, actually, both Corey and I have said the same thing. It's going to be a shame to tear it down. To you know, but it is what it is. I mean, people want to know what's going on in there. And I think. By the way, oh, okay, okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, you too. Oh my gosh. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, if somebody's blinking or something. <laughs> that video you did about. The, uh, the legacies having to wake up. I was yelling at my computer. Yes, yes. That you know I couldn't hear you. Even, <laughs> I tried, even how, I tried, no matter how loud you yell. But it was I like I mean you, you were spot on. which traffic was moving at an incredible pace. Yeah. Um, the road was so bumpy, I could hardly believe it. Um, I don't know what they did wrong there, but uh, but that, that, that road was like incredible. The car, if you're in the front seat, no big deal, but man, in the back seat, um, not, yeah. uh, not a whole lot of fun at all. So we had another Tesla meetup with the Boston group. We were outside yeah. of Boston, Boston in a suburb called Woburn. Um, yeah. Big turnout, I'd say 30, 40 people, lots of people with questions not only related to Tesla, but related to um, the car, the stickers. A lot yeah. of people asked about the Sabic sticker. They wanted to know the background behind that. And we want to give yeah. a, a little shout yeah. out to them. Now, just to clear a few things up, when we did the bumper sticker fundraiser, that covered the cost of the vehicle. The cost of the road trip and the sponsorship of the road trip, uh, Sabic came on board to pick up that tab uh, for the stickers on the car. So thanks mm -hmm. again to Dave Sullivan and uh, Dave Cameron at Sabic. Sabic, yeah. And I think that uh, there's this giant misconception about oil being only used uh, for uh, like gasoline and diesel fuel and things like that. In actuality, um, it's <laughs> about 50% of this car is uh, is made out of plastic and plastic can only come from one place. It, it can only come from, uh, uh, from oil wells. And so um, I, I had to field uh, quite a number of questions or, or Inquiries. If inquiries. I guess it, more like complaints that why are we doing business with with Sabic and you know the nasty oil and all that other stuff. And people are just really don't understand that there's a huge amount of this car that that is made out of yeah. plastic. The, the the deal is that what we really need to do is okay, we get rid of the gasoline and uh, we get rid of the diesel fuel and and the jet fuel. And eventually we're going to get to a point where there's plenty of oil and that oil will be converted strictly into materials, nylons and rayons and all the uh, all TPO, all the different types of uh, plastics that are used for our everyday living. We could not survive without plastic, period. Yeah. Yeah. Not now. This footage is being filmed with GoPros, which are primarily plastic housings. Yeah mounted to the windshield with mounts that are made out of plastic. Even um, the windshield's got a plastic layer between the, the, the two pieces of glass 
so that if we do get into an accident, the, um, the, the windshield doesn't come in and spray us and chop us to pieces with glass. Plastic is everywhere. I mean, all this stuff here, it may feel like it's cloth, but it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a plastic. And even the carpets, we call them non-woven. And the reason for that is because they aren't woven. They're, they're injection molded. Well, it's a rotor, it's, a, it's, a, it's an injection type of process and it's continuous run. So the carpets are, are made out of, pl everything's made out of plastic. Um, we're not gonna be getting away from, uh, from oil wells anytime soon. Not unless somebody invents some new way of making plastics, and the only way that we know how to do that is with it's plant-based. But the uh, it's a very narrow band that you can get. That's what they had in the uh, olden days. They only had soybean plastics. But but at the end of the day, they're uh, they don't do everything that we can do if we use uh, other um, long string carbon carbon uh, products. Now, moving on from that, uh, we're currently driving on our way to the Canadian border. Uh, Sandy and I had to get uh, COVID tests, which we did. Yeah. And we filled out all the proper forms. There is a slim chance we get turned away at the border. Uh, if so, we'll, we'll just drive through New York and Pennsylvania and Ohio to get back home. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, what, what, were, what else happened yesterday? Uh, oh, we got a twenty-two dollar T-bone steak. Yeah, How was that, we did. Sandy? Yeah, <laughs> it was um, uh, extremely tough. But you know what? Um, I needed the exercise, anyways. Uh, you know, I, I was I was just thinking a while ago what was the the best meal we had on the trip, and um, it's it, pretty hard to beat that uh, that chicken pot pie. Yeah, I I really I really like that. That was at the dog. Yeah, the dog place, up, whatever. Up Bad dog, dog or dog, dog bark. Mm, don't know. Anyway, something to do with a dog. That was uh, in, that was in, in, Atlanta. in Atlanta. Yeah, and that that pie was absolutely excellent. But you know what? If I really really have to think hard about it, <laughs> Jim's chill. <laughs> Jim's uh, 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 cheese steak. Cheese steak was uh, pretty hard to. I I like that kind of food. I love that bun and the. Uh, uh, and, and you know, juice squirting out all over the place. Um, anybody that anybody that knows me, I'm a sloppy eater, and uh, and I'm proud of it. So um, I I I guess that it's going to be a toss up between the two. The, uh, the 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 pie was like my mother used to make, and uh, the um, the uh, Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> it's hard to beat that. Yeah. I could have eaten that every day for the rest of my life. I wonder if Jim's will come down and put a place up yeah. in Detroit. Yeah. So yeah. we are two thirds through the road trip and this is much more manageable than our <coughs> West Coast trip because our longest stretch of driving was nine hours yeah. from Clemson to DC area. And today we're driving five and a half Tomorrow, Montreal to Toronto will be five and a half or six. Um, so, Sandy and I said this is kind of like child's play compared yeah. to our marathon of driving out on the West Coast. Yeah, and we're not being chased by any blizzards and on and on and on. So, there's a uh, this trip is much more, and quite frankly, this car is is pretty amazing. Um, the three was very nice. I mean, I can't, I can't throw rocks at it. It, it handled really, really well. Um, but this car um, is is definitely yeah. a lot more luxurious, um, and the mapping is better, and the driving. This uh, this uh, pilot, the autopilot here is. Yeah. Uh, so way while better. this has been filming, I'm on autopilot the whole time. Um, the Model Three when we would come up to an exit ramp where you lost the right line, <coughs> would, would veer, veer or, around. Or it shiver. This yeah. thing doesn't do that anymore. The only time I really lost autopilot was about a, uh, three or four miles back. I came to an area where all the lines were gone off the road for about an eighth of a mile, and the car just didn't know what to do. 
um, and it disengaged autopilot and had to take over. But I mean, the lines are relatively important for yeah. this vision system. The other thing that we noticed too was that this car seems to disengage when it, it gets confusing lights, when there's a lot of confusing lights around. Um, maybe that's why people are saying it crashes into um, into uh, ambulances and whatnot. It might mean that the car disengages because there's too much going on and, um, and it gives responsibility back to the driver and the driver isn't paying attention. So could be that. That's why having your hands on a wheel all the time is a real good idea and listening for that little ding dong like hey you know what you're on your own so actually actually we're passing up with an off ramp right here and no problem so yeah I uh, I guess uh, I guess we can safely say that this trip's been pretty good um, I feel good that I I helped some uh, some lady not freeze to death <coughs> If you're coming out to these events <clears throat> um, and you happen to be in Toronto or Montreal or, or Windsor, yeah, wear a heavy coat. Uh, this, this lady uh, was <laughs> way underdressed, so um, she wound up wearing my coat for a while. Is that in the, is that um, going to be in the video? It may or may not be in the video. Uh, we might have some B-roll. If we don't, keep in mind you can follow us live on Twitter. Although this is called Monroe Live. Um, these YouTube videos are being shot documentary style and are, and are going to be released anywhere from three to five days after it actually happened. But if you follow Instagram or Twitter, which uh, Eric or Zach will put in the description right now or at the beginning, um, you'll be able to see all these funny happenings. So Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's about it, Sandy. Yeah. We, we're, we've, been, we've done a wrap up every day. We'll do a few more. Yeah. And uh, I'd like to thank Savic again for um, for their sponsorship. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, I mean we probably could have made it, but um, but their sponsorship helped out a lot. So there we go. All right, that's all. Thanks. Bye now. Take carefully. See this. Don't, yeah, don't move the orientation, it slots into there. Yeah. Oh, no, the other way around. Yeah. <coughs> nope, from behind. Yep, like from here. Yep, like. Oh, yeah. But you have to. Well, if you could just hold the car still on, it'd be a lot easier. this thing bent? Hang on. Just don't worry about it. That that that's been broken this whole time. But it's you have to you have to line it up flat and then slide it in. Yeah, I'm lining it up flat as long as the car doesn't move. Then it slides and snaps. There you go.